So hi everyone, my name is Sergey Kunz, I'm co-founder of One Inch Network, software engineer, software architect for 20 years. And today I'm gonna show you our new cross-chain swap solution, One Inch Fusion. Fusion. DeFi users don't need to figure things out. They have intents and just want results. And then best architecture prioritize user goals not the process to achieve them. What it means, uh, in the old traditional world of blockchain, we have these standard transactions. You as a user, you define your strategy and you execute the transaction by yourself by signing the transaction, sending to the blockchain and paying for gas costs. Taking in the same time risks, such as front running attacks, math attacks you can face in the, in the, in the wild. And then the base approach is completely different. You as a user, you define an intent, what you want to get. And professionals uh, define the strategy and execute uh, it on blockchain by protecting themselves from math, from sanity attacks, and, and so on. And takes, take all the risks uh, on our own to execute the intent transactions from the users. There are benefits uh, in terms of um, uh, we have math protection by design and intense since uh, execution is uh, done by the professional market makers, professional traders, professional executors. You can define highly complex intents. Uh, it could be uh, maybe something like I provide liquidity in Uniswap and then every week all the collected fees should be withdrawn and put it again into the pool. So you can really build complex strategies, rebalancing strategies. You have high efficiency in, uh, and automation with them. Uh, and you have also better experience. There are different use cases. Right now, common use cases are the limit orders on one inch, for example, and also swaps, our intense swaps, what we released in back in 2022. We are users just define what they want to get and how it's going to be done. It's done by professional executors. We have seen on Fusion Volume, our intent based swap protocol, since December 2022, already 32 billion of US dollars volume. And we protected every user who used Fusion from math attacks by design because the protocol is designed to protect the users. Limit orders 29 billion from uh, June 21 when we uh, came to the conclusion that everything what we have seen in, in, uh, in Web3 and DeFi space uh, is not good enough for us. And now we, we think cross chain matters. And I will explain why. If you take a look here on, on, on this slide, you see 18 billion of US dollars of total uh, value locked. That means 80 billion of US dollars are right now available uh, as liquidity on different chains. You see Ethereum has like major, major percentages of it, 55 percentages, Tron around 10, Solana 6, Binance Smart Chain 5, Arbitrum 3, Layer 2 Base uh, 1.8, Avalanche, Polygon, and some others. Crossing volumes are all, all also very high. Just in tot, like uh, in uh, 2023 and 24, we have seen over 70 billions of US dollars volume cross chain bridged cross chain swap. Most bridge tokens are ETH, like 40, 48 percentage of it. We have stable coins, of course, 40 percentages, and some other different tokens, uh, around 12 percentages. We have a general problem uh, by bridging assets cross-chain. Normally, you get really worse, bad UX, where you have to want to wait. You take risks of bridges. Bridges got hacked. I can't even count anymore how many times bridges were hacked. There's really lack of transparency in some of uh, the projects who take care about swaps and bridges. There's very often lack of liquidity. You have you face high price impact, and also you face fees. Current products uh, on the market who facilitate swaps, cross-chain swaps and uh, bridges, they take fees from the users. From Open.io, it's too early for this. 
And uh, of course, yeah, uh, we have uh, huge security risks when you give approval to maybe an aggregate of decentralized uh, bridges, I would say. And uh, this um, approval costs maybe a, a huge loss of your assets because the team didn't audit properly the, the smart contracts. They have seen this multiple times already. So cross chains, cross chain bridges are, a lot of them are centralized, unsafe, expensive, inconvenient. Cross chain swap solutions are slow, expensive, too complex for the user. They need maybe to make multiple transactions. It's also unsafe for large swaps. Just, just imagine if a cross chain swap product relies on a messaging protocol, what is backed by validators who need to stake assets to maintain own validator position to secure the network. If someone comes with 500 million US dollar swap, what do you think what will happen? Sometime, some of these validators can become greedy and can manipulate the messaging protocol and also extract funds of, um, of this swap. What about atomic swaps? I didn't find any project who built atomic swaps cross chain. Really, I didn't find. I, I, have, I found one uh, Bitcoin talk thread uh, back in, from 2012. A guy came with a nice solution, hash time uh, locks uh, contracts, uh, what can be used for atomic swaps, but no one implemented it for everyone for, for easy usage for cross chain swap. But what if? We take our one-inch fusion technology based on intent and combine it with atomic swaps. We get intent-based atomic cross-chain swaps. And we call it fusion plus. It's seamless. So it's secure. We have a lot of security audits. More than 10 right now publicly available for reviews. We have uh, gasless execution, and it's for sure self-custodian. Fusion Plus is uh, extensible. Any chain can come and, and get an integration. Fusion Plus can contribute to, in terms of uh, de deploying, like building and uh, deploying smart contracts on on chain. Uh, it's competitive since we use technology what let our professional market makers compete between each other to fill the trade. It's highly efficient because we use our uh, innovative idea of Dutch auction with special smart price curve. As it's trustless, there are no third parties involved, just P2P user to professional trader, market, tra market maker and arbitrage, arbitrage trader. But how? We use a specific flow to ensure that the user takes zero risks and the resolver needs to do the job. So the, how does it work? The user uh, creates an off-chain order, shared with one-inch network resolvers. Resolvers, when the, when the rate became um, profitable for the resolvers, take this order, go to the smart contract on this origin chain, and create an escrow. Create also escrow on this destination chain for the user. And the application verifies that the uh, destination chain uh, or uh, escrow is created and the right amount is deposited. Share the secret with the market maker so the market maker can withdraw from origin chain assets and can they re rebalance whatever they do. We don't care as a user in the end. If, doesn't, doesn't work, if something doesn't work, um, we have also a rollbacks mechanism. If uh, order wouldn't go through because the resolver somehow cannot manage the, the, the trade uh, or other resolvers also don't take the order, a user gets funds back without charging any fees. So all risks are on the resolver, and there are professionals who can deal with this. We cannot expect that normal retail person can hedge on, on uh, other uh, solutions uh, on risks for by, by swapping cross-chain. Of course, we have some time locks so, uh, to ensure the uh, uh, security here and safety of the user. This is one-inch fusion. Looks complex, but it's highly, 
highly simple. Because if something is too complex, it can fail. And if something can fail, it will fail. And we, we build simple solutions. So you see here we have uh, a lot of uh, components in terms of like we have arbitrage traders, resolvers, market makers. We, have, we support multiple chains. We have a lot of security audits. We have high grade of compliance. Our resolvers are passing KYB, and we do compliance checks on, on them always. Also, users who create auras, we do compliance checks to, to verify that no North Korean or hackers or any other hackers can exchange assets on uh, our network. How does it work with the Dutch auction? Is uh, we try to sell the assets for the better rate for the user. We start on the spot price, what you see on CoinMarketCap, uh, CoinGecko, and we allow partial fields. That means, like, in this is a case of fusion. It's fusion, fusion plus the same approach with the Dutch auction. Here, someone exchanged 5,000 Ethereum to USDC. He got 40,000 US dollars more. Why? Because our market makers were in a competition and tried to fill the order at the beginning. We go down from spot price to market rate. That's what you see here in the middle. This market price, what, what you get when you exchange the whole amount at once with one single transaction. So, but we give time to arbitrage traders to arbitrage it, to hedge on centralized exchanges, other networks, or even, maybe even options. So, and you see the price points are, are created here based on the current liquidity availability in this specific network. We have also uh, gas price uh, change adoption as well, so to avoid that the price don't meet the current market conditions and uh, the order is not going to be executed. Uh, it's a new innovation since the last uh, Fusion uh, release uh, a half year ago. So you get math protection by design. It's gasless. You don't pay for the transactions. Costs for transactions, for the settlement, everything is already included in the price, and all the market makers compete to execute your trade. Who, fir who comes first, get first. Liquidity across all entire market. It's really like that. Market makers are hedging everywhere to extract profit from any interaction with, with any liquidity out there. How Fusion Plus is, disrupts the market? I think that every current existing cross-chain protocol, product, became infrastructure product now. So our market makers can rebalance through Torchain, Stargate, whatever else is out there. Maybe a native USDC bridge as well. It's what our uh, own resolver is doing as well. And one inch fusion plus, like one inch fusion swap in general, became more user centric and the, because the user get the best uh, experience, uh, user experience here. I'm happy to invite you for beta testing uh, already today uh, on app.1inch.io at official 1inch the app. You can already test Fusion Plus. You just need to enable Fusion Plus in the settings of the swap, how you see it on the screens. And then you can easily seamless swap without doing any transaction, without taking any risks for the swap. We are, you define what are your minimal acceptable uh, return what you want to get from the order and through our unique Dutch auction approach our protocol ensures that you get the market rate since our market makers compete between each other to fill your order so come to our booth if you're layer one let's speak with us we will support you for the uh, Fusion Plus integration. If you are any application what need exchanges, cross-chain, not cross-chain, come to us and uh, let's speak and collaborate. So thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here.